our next uh, presentation is the Business of the Year. Uh, the qualifications for this award are that they must be in good standing with the Chamber for at least one year, show community involvement such as time donated for community projects, sponsorships, and contributions of financial resources or facilities, labor, and equipment. To present this year's award is Tracy Miller. do this, I said definitely right away without any thought, of course I will Gordon. <laughs> After we hung up I thought, what did I just do? <laughs> but what a better couple for me to be able to do this for. So I'd like to tell you a little love story. And the lighting up here is terrible, by the way. Sorry. And I am blind. <laughs> when, I, when I run those chains, or when, my, when I run my saws, I have to have lots of lighting. Thank you whoever just did that. So once upon a time, Back in 1974, in the small community of Oak Ridge, there lived a 16-year-old boy. He decided to buy his first truck. No. <laughs> his muscle car? Nope, not this guy. He bought his first backhoe. <laughs> he thought that he would get himself some, some work. That was his main concern in life. Next thing you know, that backhoe caught the eye of another girl, a young girl from another small town in our area, the town of Seminole. <laughs> and you know, she had no idea this was going to happen tonight. In 1981, two journeys officially merged into one at which that time they choose to, chose to live in Oak Ridge. Their home, over lo, uh, home located next to a huge home with a brick facade that was built in 1820 by Yost Smith and his wife Madeline. Um, the brick had come from a kiln that was located in the backyard. Um, just a little history there. Um, I'm sure that this young couple would look out their windows and say, wow, look at that place. But never in a million years did they probably ever think that they would someday own it. Um, the years flew by and they welcomed two sons into their world, Brandon and Brent. Uh, Brandon couldn't be here tonight, his wife's expecting, getting a little close, so uh, anyhow, he would have been here had they not been able, or not, had they been able to. So skip forward to 2011, Glenn and Brenda Schick purchased the neighboring property. On September 14th, after all of 2013, after all of the renovations, they opened the doors up to the public to see what had been going on for those couple of years. Um, the brick house has been doing amazing since. Uh, the brick house has eight rooms. Um, they come with modern accommodations. I'm not sure how many of you have toured the brick house. Every year we have um, our fall festival, which is guided tours, which are free to the public. Uh, we have craft vendors, food vendors, live entertainment. We're trying to grow every year. Um, some of the different rooms in the uh, brick house include the Seminole Room, the Oak Ridge Room, the Hawthorne Room, the Putneyville Room, and the New Bethel Room. These ones all um, hold history from their small villages. The next two rooms that Glenn and Brenda are very proud of were named after their two granddaughters, Lydia and Hannah. They also now have a grandson, Brandon Jr., and number four is on the way. So I don't know what they're going to do about the uh, boys and some rooms for them. Might have to build on. Uh, don't even do it, Glenn. She'll strangle you. <laughs> um, also, um, if, if eight rooms weren't enough, they've got the coal mine out back, uh, five cabins across the road, and of course you heard now they've added the tree house, which will start um, being up and running here shortly. So. Uh, the last two re remaining rooms um, were named after two very important people. The first one was a dear friend, Louis Persaghetti. Mm. I'm sure any of you that know Louis know he spent a lot of time in this building. <laughs> and there are many, many stories to be told about Louis. Um, we'll, never, we'll never forget him. Uh, the other person was a family relative of Brenda's, 
and he was um, Louis Zamperini. I'm not sure if any of you have, uh, most of you I'm sure have probably heard of the movie or seen or read the book Unbroken. If you haven't, it's a must. Um, in the room there is some history. Um, Glenn and Brenda, uh, they have brought so much to this area. There's a lot of things that people don't know that they have done that I do, and I'm not going to say what it is. I mean, I'm not here. They don't do it for their, you know, for notoriety. They are, from the bottom of their heart, good people. Um, they've given to a lot of people that have been down and out with nothing. You know, they don't expect you to, to, to know what that is. They don't, it's, it's not what they're, they do it for. They do it out of the goodness of their heart. Um, very hard workers. I feel that they definitely deserve Business of the Year. couldn't figure out why her mother's name was on the list. And I heard Brian telling her, oh, that was last year's list. And I'm thinking, she wasn't here last year either, but anyways, um, I think we're here. On behalf of the Chamber, this is an award for you for uh, Business of the Year. And thank you on behalf of the Chamber. And Donna is going to present you with your citation. Thank you. Well, congratulations, and it is my pleasure on behalf of the House of Representatives to present you with this citation honoring your um, accomplishment as Business of the Year. Thank you for all that you do, and it is a beautiful location, and I, I love your festival too, and can't wait to uh, check out the Treehouse. So, congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations. You want to speak there? I'm sorry. All right, I'm still going with my first response. Are you kidding me? <laughs> time to do more than what we do. Um, and, and money to do more. <laughs> That's one of the biggest things. Yeah. But um, I, I, we truly do appreciate this. I had no, I even seen Tracy's name on the flyer. <laughs> you spelled it wrong by the way. <laughs> and am I in trouble? I told her Friday morning at 6.30 in the morning, I'm going to kill my 16 year old. She just told me she's got a history report due on Monday. She's got volleyball, J.O. volleyball all day Saturday. She's got to work on this Friday night. Sunday she's going to complain. She's going to want to ride her four-wheeler. I need history on the brick house. That is what she's decided to do the report on. <laughs> Oblivious to this award. Um, well, obviously. <laughs> well, well deserved. Thank you very much, everybody. We do appreciate it. I didn't need to worry about that at all. I'll leave the bird, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was, uh, I think that was the first. That was the first, yeah. yeah. You set another record tonight. Yeah. Yeah. 